back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to get access to all the audio files which are present inside your apple music or any music app or uh, if you have some uh, so for ios we will get access to only the apple music audio files because if any file is present inside your files app it might be very difficult to get the access and for android we will get access to all the audio files which are present inside the user's device display it inside a list view builder and then play in an audio player so for ios we will be using av player view controller but for android we will be using the media 3 uh, exo player library so first i will show you the output for uh, ios so if i click on get all audios uh, it will ask me for permission i will click on ok and here you can see i am able to see three audio files which are present inside my device uh, now uh, if I uh, currently the thumbnail is not working because none of my audio files have a proper thumbnail that's why I'm defaulting to uh, some default thumbnail uh, showing some default thumbnail and if I click on any of the uh, item here you can see that it starts playing the audio similarly for Android as well so if I click on get all audios uh, it will ask you for permission first so uh, start, uh, due to scope storage you will have to give access to all the files uh, to get all audio files so I will just click on uh, giving the access I will click back and here you can see that it is able to uh, fetch all the audio files and if I click on any of the audio files here you can see that it starts playing inside exo player so yeah let's get started on how to do this so as usual uh, create a flutter project first then here you can see i have refactored my home page widget uh, before that uh, go to your pubspec.yml and include this go router we need this go router because for android we will be navigating from one screen to another screen but this go router won't be useful for ios because once you click on an item we are opening a new instance of av player view controller so go to main dot dot firstly you will have to override this material app dot router then add these three lines then create underscore router variable inside that create go router and here you can see for default path like the main path is my home page and this will be only applicable for android i will show you how to do it for ios so this will open a new page and here we will be passing the url of the selected item and in that in this page we will uh, display the audio player as well and here you can see i am extending stateful widget and i have created a method channel for audio pickers because we need to pick all the audio files and give, get, get the access or permissions to it as well so here you can see i have created a text button for it and on a click of that text button we are invoking the pick audio method and uh, all the audio files will be present inside a list uh, on the native side but we will convert it to string while sending it from native side to flutter uh, so here you will get it in a form of string and again we will convert it back to a list so that dart can understand it so here you can see i'm converting it back to a list so next once the list is not empty we will display a list view dot builder and i have added an uh, to add the rates uh, be as a separator for each and every item because i will tell you more logic about it be uh, because there could be a space in your file uh, in your file name itself so that would cause a lot of complications there could be a possibility that there be, be, might be to add the rate in your file name in your audio file name and even that might fail so make sure whatever identifier you use uh, uh, like use it carefully i will show you where exactly am i i am adding that identifier on native side so here you will get your data and uh, in index one we will have the url so for android you can see on click of that item i am uh, navigating to a new screen but for ios we are again calling a play audio method channel and we are just passing the identifier and uh, regarding the layout here i have just created a size box with an image view this is a native image view and we will be passing the first like for ios it will be an identifier but for android it will be a url and here i am displaying our text which will be in variable uh, like index 2 and this is the item count and if there is no list we are just displaying a size box so this is how i am sending the data from native side so 
first will be an image url or an identifier in uh, uh, ios case second would be audio uri this would be specific for android only uh, we will be sending an audio uri from ios side as well but we will be making use of identifier itself to find the uh, audio file exactly because i was trying to debug whether we can uh, get the file using audio uri itself but that wasn't working and last is the title and here you can see i'm using at the rate at the rate as the identifier like as the separator basically but be careful with this use whatever makes sense to you like for kotlin like for android i was not using data class because then it would make it more complicated and uh, you know you will you will have to clean up it more on the dart side uh, that's why I'm, and i think you can pass struct as well and then convert it to string for ios but i just wanted to avoid that all that complication so if you are able to figure out data class for a kotlin and a struct for ios then you don't have to use this you know hack way of at the rate at the rate next i have created my image view dot dart so this is a native uh, image view and we will be uh, passing a url and uh, here you can see i am just using android view as well as a ui kit view next for my audio page uh, like this is just a um, stateless widget and important thing is here we are referencing my audio view and if you go into my audio view again this is a native view uh, and here we will be passing the audio url but for ios it will be an identifier and this is the android view and this is the ui kit view okay next going to android go to build.gradle over here make sure you're using kotlin 1.8.20 go to app build.gradle uh, next compile sdk version is 34 for me and min sdk version is 23 target sdk version is 34 as well then i have added coil dependency because we want to display image then this media 3 exo player and media 3 ui are for, are for playing audio files and we require activity as well as the uh, fragment uh, extension because uh, we want to use register for activity result next inside src main uh, android manifest.xml i have added this to permission read external storage as well as manage external storage next go to kotlin main activity dot kt firstly you will have to refactor fl uh, flutter activity to flutter fragment activity next uh, i have created a method channel result variable and this will contain a list of all the audio files which we will get now if you are on android below r then you will have to uh, ask for read external storage permission so this is the old way but for newer versions of android we have to ask for manage external storage permission so this is the new way and here we will request uh, just a helper method to request manage external storage permission so it directly opens the settings uh, uh, app for us and the user has to manually uh, give the permission to our app and here is the manage external storage permission just to check whether the user has granted or not here we are registering our image view here we are registering our audio view as well and uh, so here you can see if you are greater than android r and if you already has the permission then just call get all audio if not request the external storage permission if below android r request for read external storage permission and here get all audios we are first clearing the list then we are getting a projection of what all data we want and here we will get the actual audio uri and from that uh, we will uh, run a cursor we will actually get a cursor based on audio uri as well as the projection and then we will use the cursor and loop through it to get the index of id file part title artist album duration i'm not using all the variables but i wanted to show it to you guys and this is how you will get the actual value so id file path title artist album duration and this will be the actual content URI of your audio file. So if you see inside audio list, I'm just adding this. So this would be used for getting the thumbnail. And here you can see at the rate, at the rate. So this is the separator which I'm using, but use it whatever makes sense to you. If you want, you can use a data class over here as well, but then you will have to manage how to send, uh, how to filter, uh, you know, clean up that data on the dart side. Then I'm saying sending the audio file URI and this is the title uh so just a second i will just show you you don't need this substring i just want i don't want it to display uh, you know everything inside my title so you can just remove this yeah so something like this i'm just sending the title i'm not using the file path artist duration but if you want you can add that inside the list as well then here i'm just sending the data back to uh, flutter side in form of string 
uh, next inside my audio view dot kt so here i am same using exo player view i have shown this many a times in my video so you can just copy paste the code if you want to so here just creating a player view over here then here we will get the audio url from flutter side then we are setting up the player and hiding the system ui if you want you can add this uh, then here we are releasing the player okay so in dispose we are calling release player next my audio view factory class like this is boilerplate code which which you have to write whenever you are defining a native view so here it is similarly my image view factory class factory class again boilerplate code which you have to write and inside my image view dot kt uh, so here you can see that uh, just taking an image view assigning it layout params and you will get the image url from flutter side from that we are creating a thumbnail out of it and if the thumbnail is null then i am just uh, displaying the default flutter icon but you can display whatever it makes sense to you and if, uh, if thumbnail is not equal to null then display the actual thumbnail and these are the uh, helper methods to get the thumbnail uh, if you have ch uh, checked my uh, previous video of getting all the video files then i was trying that way of getting all the thumbnails but it was not working for me that's why i have to use uh, this other way so yeah i think that should be it for android uh, now coming back to ios firstly go to runner go to info.plist you will have to add this permission first next uh, create a factory class again this is boilerplate code which you have to write whenever you have to define a native uh, ui view and it references my image view native view and if you go to my image view native view here you can see i'm importing media player as well as i have defined an ui image view uh, then we will get the image url from uh, flutter side and once we get it we call the create native view here we initialize our image view and we will convert it to u in 64 because if you remember in ios case it was an identifier so we have to convert it to u in 64 and from that uh, this should not be get photo in library like i have just copy pasted it from my previous tutorial but it should be get audio file from library or something and here you can see that i'm getting the actual audio file uh, okay so this is how you get the audio file and if the audio file is present then i'm just displaying an image view if not then i'm just displaying a no song found so if you see inside my xcode uh, inside assets i have just added this no song found image so yeah make sure you add this image otherwise your app might crash uh, like you can use whatever makes sense to you okay and if you next is the app delegate dot swift file so here we have first define our data uh, which is an array and then a controller as well as a flutter result then here we are registering our image view creating our controller class then we are creating our audio method channel once pick audio is called we request for music library permission so if you check we are first requesting for permission from the user if status is authorized then we get all the audio files which are present inside the user's apple music then we iterate through each and every one of them then we, this is the persistent id which will help us to get the uh, audio file url as well as the image you image thumbnail so i have already shown you the thumbnail part i will come uh, on to the audio file url and here this thing we, i'm not really making use of but i just wanted to keep it in consistent with android otherwise if you just pass uh, to uh, like only uh, persistent id and the title then you will again have to uh, uh, you know uh, make some changes depending on what platform you ha are on and again here i am passing the ident uh, separator as a double at the rate also one more thing is inside app delegate you don't need this prefix like i just wanted to keep the titles uh, you know simple that's why i use this prefix but you should not use it otherwise your title won't be uh, displayed properly like it, the full title won't be displayed and here you can see i'm just adding the persistent id then this is not required just added as a dummy thing as well as the title and from this item you can get a lot of things like the artist album whatever and if you see while sending it to flutter side again i am converting it to form of string and for playing the audio we call the play audio method and here we will get the identifier again we are converting it to in 64 and from that we get the actual audio file so here you can see i'm getting once you i get the audio file i'm converting it to an asset url 
then initializing our av player then av player view controller then assigning it to the player and then just presenting our uh, audio player so yeah that's it for ios thank you for watching bye